Now we're being asked to find the length of the vector c to b. Okay, so I'll put that in here. Okay, the vector c b. Let's just do it in blue. I think. Okay. C to B, a vector going in this direction, not that it really matters, I mean you could have found the length of the vector B to C, it's going to be the same length. But let's just do C to B, alright? You'll notice by the way that I've updated the diagram from the earlier parts, I've marked in the vector AB that we found earlier as 2, 1, minus 2, and I've also written the vector equation of the line back out up here, okay, which we also found earlier. Anyway, how do we get this length? So first of all, we need to establish what the vector c to b is. So in the usual way, c to b is going to be equal to o to the last letter, o to b, minus o to the first letter, o to c. You can see it anyway from the diagram if you're not sure about that result. c to b go down here, that's negative O to C, and up here that's plus O to B. And so I've just changed it round for convenience, OB minus O to C. Okay, well in the usual way then, what we need to do is just work out what OB take away OC is going to be. I'll put in the working, the vectors here anyway, but I'm sure you could uh, end up just doing it straight off. Okay, so just bear with me on this one. We got 9, 9, 6. Take those two away and what you should get is 1, 5, minus 10. 1, 5, minus 10. So we've got our vector C to B. As I say, if you worked out B to C, it's only going to be negative 1, negative 5 and plus 10. It's not going to alter the length, or some people call it the magnitude, of this vector. So to work out the magnitude or length, all we need to do is essentially apply Pythagoras' theorem to this vector, which really results in the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So we have 1 squared plus 5 squared plus 10 squared. Remember, you don't need to put the minus in, you're only concerned with the lengths. So there you go, we get that. Work that out and what you should find you get is 1 plus 25 plus 100, that's square root of 126. Now I'm going to leave it like that because really it doesn't say give it to so many decimal places or significant figures, so I'm just going to leave it as an exact value. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this part in the question.